So when you get into real estate, what are some of the, you know, big challenges that you kind of ran into and what are the things that you learned once you get started with that whole new business? So uh, when I decided to get into real estate, it took me about six months to, um, to actually transition. So when I made a decision for six months, uh, during my car sales, I was taking classes, I was doing it online. And when I came home three to four hours every night, I was researching the industry. I was seeing, uh, you know, what successful agents do, how to generate business. And that's when I started understanding cold calling, expires, FISBO, circle prospecting, open houses, uh, things like that, that cost very little money, but require a lot of effort uh, and time and skill uh, to succeed. So that's what I decided to do. I just decided to uh, to pursue expired listings uh, for sub by owners, open houses, and I just hit the ground running. And then, um, you know, I remember two days in the business, I called the four sub by owner, $450,000, signed the listing like five days later. And uh, uh, 25 days later, we closed, I made $15,000. And then I just never looked back. You know, I just started good one from there. That's huge. So you built your business with the foundational things like the, you know, circle prospecting, um, on the phone, mm-hmm. grinding things out. So you built that the first, how many years did you do that for before you? I did that for the first, I did that for the first, uh, uh, so that was, so this was 2018. I did it in two, during 2018, uh, on and off, right. I'm not going to say I was consistent forever. Cause if I actually had done it for three hours a day, like they tell you to do every day, I probably would have sold a hundred houses. I didn't do it. Like once I started getting busy, then I started focusing on transactions because I didn't have, uh, the know-how, how to manage a transaction and, you know, like the curveballs that you get into real estate. So I somehow managed to do like 15 deals my first year, which I thought was a success. Uh, I made uh, gross about a hundred K in commissions. Uh, and, and, and then I, second year I did uh, very similar. I did the same thing, uh, but I joined a team in my second year and it didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go. I, I was a little bit more distracted, you know, coaching, fancy things, shiny objects. I kind of bought into that. So I didn't stay as focused. Then third year, which was 2020, I decided to do it again on my own. And I, I remember uh, end of t- the end of my second year, which was 2019, like around November, I, I just I went on my own again and I started hitting the phones heavy right between between uh, uh, November and, and March, like end of, uh, no, between November and end of February of 2020, I hit the phones hard and in my pipeline. Uh, I had about $9 million worth of listings that I was going to list between like March and May. Right. So I was going to crush it that year. But then we all know what happened in 2020, which was COVID and literally uh, 11, uh, 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 10 out of my 11 signed listings decided to not list their home. And I ended up going to zero in March. Right. Which we all did because it was a crazy time. So then I just, I just had to restart again and, and then, you know, that thing happened. Then I signed up for lead sources. I did all this crazy shit that, that everyone does. And I had a good 2020, better 2021, and then an even better 2022. And now I'm in 2023, which is now I'm, I've kind of like come full circle, which is I've gone away from leads, uh, uh, paid leads, Facebook leads, Zillow, all those things. I've gone away from that and I'm focused more on my sphere now and I'm back to the uh, to the uh, the core that made me successful to begin with, which is phone calls, uh, prospecting, expires, like things like that. Which is because I think I think the next twenty four hour twenty four months are going to be very challenging in our industry. So I'm I'm ready to kind of go back to my roots. And I think that's the people who are going to be able to survive are the people who are who have skill. And I don't think you can buy your way out of this uh, challenging market that we have ahead of us. Mm-hmm.